Welcome back to CBSN. I'm Elaine Quijano. As you just heard from our Jim Axelrod there and our Chip Reed at the White House, a bit of a miscommunication. That is the live picture of the Roosevelt Room, where originally what had been scheduled to take place at 11.40 was the president coming out into that room to make a statement there to reporters. Uh, that was coming on the heels of a meeting that he was having with his national security advisors in the Situation Room. At 11.48, we got a two-minute warning, uh, but it is now 12.01, and there you see the sign for a two-minute warning uh, that is coming now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break as we try to figure out what's going on. I'm told, actually, that is the two-minute warning, so we will stay on this picture. But as we had been listening to Chip Reed, uh, who is there on the north lawn of the White House, and Jim Axelrod anchoring CBS News special report coverage here in New York, uh, talk about... Um, they had been discussing what it is that the president had been expected to talk about. Uh, and in fact, they are going to go back to CBS News for a special report coming up very shortly here. All right, again, if you're just joining us, stand by. We are expecting a CBS News special report. President Obama will be making a statement soon from the Roosevelt Room of the White House, that statement focusing on national security, on homeland security, obviously this being a very big concern during this busy holiday travel season. Very shortly, a CBS News special report anchored by Jim Axelrod, along with coverage from our Chip Reed, who was on the north lawn of the White House there. Stand by. We are expecting that special report at any moment, I am told. And there is the President of the United States. Good morning, everybody. I just had a chance to meet with my national security team, including my Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, my FBI Director, Jim Comey, and my Attorney General, Loretta Lynch, uh, for a regular update on our security posture post-Paris and going into the holiday season. I think all of us recognize how horrific and heinous uh, what took place in Paris was. And as I said yesterday, for many of us, the events there touched a deep chord given the connection between the United States and France, uh, the degree to which uh, Americans see uh, in Paris uh, a way of life that's so familiar to us uh, here in American cities. Uh, and given the shocking images, I know that Americans have been asking each other where it, whether it's safe here, whether it's safe to fly or gather. Uh, I know that families have discussed their fears about the threat of terrorism around the dinner table many for the first time since September 11th. And it's understandable that people worry something similar could happen here. Watching the events in Paris made the threat feel closer to home. So as we go into Thanksgiving weekend, I want the American people to know is that we are taking every possible step to keep our homeland safe. First, we're going after ISIL wherever it hides. That's been our strategy for more than a year. I'll speak about this in more detail in the coming weeks, but let me remind the American people of what our coalition of some 65 nations is doing to destroy these terrorists and defeat their ideology. So far, our military and our partners have conducted more than 8,000 airstrikes on ISIL strongholds and equipment. Those airstrikes, along with the efforts of our partners on the ground, have taken out key leaders, have taken back territory from ISIL, in both Iraq and Syria. We continue to work to choke off their financing and their supply lines and their counter their recruitment and their messaging. And even as America is already supporting French airstrikes in Syria, yesterday President Oulon and I agreed that our countries are going to step up that coordination even further and do more of that work together. So we're stepping up the pressure on ISIL where it lives, and we will not let up adjusting our tactics where necessary until they are beaten. That's our first goal. Second, we continue to do everything possible to prevent attacks at home and abroad and to prevent foreign terrorist fighters from entering the United States or other nations. Since 9-11, we've taken extraordinary measures to strengthen our homeland security in everything from aviation security to border security to information sharing. We've improved upon 
uh, these actions over time. Anytime there's an event, we learn something from it, and we continue to refine them. We continue to improve upon our approaches as we speak. Now, right now, we know of no specific and credible intelligence indicating a plot on the homeland. And that is based on the latest information I just received in the Situation Room. Uh, it is similar to the information uh, that I, the briefing that I received on Saturday uh, before I left uh, on my trip last week. So as Americans travel this weekend to be with their loved ones, I want them to know that our counterterrorism, intelligence, homeland security, and law enforcement professionals at every level are working overtime. They are continually monitoring threats at home and abroad, continually evaluating our security posture. They're constantly working to protect all of us. Their work has prevented attacks. Their efforts have saved lives. They serve every hour of every day for the sake of our security. They did so before Paris, and they do so now, without fanfare or credit and without a break for the holidays. So the bottom line is this. I want the American people to know, entering the holidays, that the combined resources of our military, our intelligence, and our homeland security agencies are on the case. They're vigilant, relentless, and effective. In the event of a specific credible threat, the public will be informed. We do think it's useful for people, as they're going about their business, uh, to be vigilant. If you see something suspicious, say something. That's always helpful. But otherwise, Americans should go about their usual Thanksgiving weekend activities, spending time with family and friends uh, and celebrating our blessings. And while the threat of terrorism is a troubling reality of our age, we are both equipped to prevent attacks and we are resilient in the face of those who would try to do us harm. And that's something we can all be thankful for. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.